Hello, today I'll be talking about Customize. You'll see what it is, how it can help you, and we'll do some hands-on. I've been using Customize with Kubernetes for over a year now. As a user, I think it perfectly fits many different scenarios, especially if you want to keep things simple. First, what is it? Customize is a declarative application management tool for Kubernetes. By application, we made a set of resources that work together. For instance, I could think of an ingress providing access to a pod running an API. This pod could itself be managed by deployment and export through a service. It could access a data store. Those are very common patterns of different components working together to, to manage an application. Well, Customize helps you to create different variations of this application for different purposes and different environments. For instance, you might not want to publish your application on the external network for a test environment. You might want to have several parts running on the production environment for availability, scalability, and just to perform easier rolling upgrades. You might want your development environment to be published on different URL. Well, Customize is a CLI that helps you to do that. The declarative parts of Customize means there are no templates. That is very important because it means also that you can directly rely on the original manifest files. Basically what you do, you create your YAML manifest within a specific directory and you put your resources inside, like the pods and ingress and so on. Then you create a set of directories, one per configuration. In those directories, you put a customization.yml file that is the customized manifest itself and that chooses which one of the different resources you want to put in your customized environment. Then you can apply some patches on that, those resources to change the values in there. But we'll see that in a minute. Starting with Kubernetes 114, Customize is now part of the CLI. Before, it was only available as a standalone CLI. Well, whether you use it as a standalone or in kubectl, you can always use uh, your customized configuration on holder former um, Kubernetes environments. Last but not least, it is a very simple tool. It is somehow opinionated on that, meaning that it comes with a set of rules that you need to follow. But because it is made of plain YAML and there is no templating language, it is very easy to understand and to get what has changed. The vocabulary is also very limited, which makes it quite simple and you can easily master it. Let's start with an example to show you how it works. This project contains a con customized configuration set. Usually it's split into different directories. Here we actually have two directories. One is the base directory that contains the vanilla resources, so the YAML file that describes our resources. And then there is another list directory that contains one directory per configuration. We'll see that in a minute. But first, let's have a look at the base directory. Here, you see there are several files. The first file that we want to look into is the nginx.yml file. As you can see, it is a default vanilla deployment configuration set. It deploys in the namespace default and it's based on an Xgenix 115.12. Then there is the nginx-config.yml file. As you can see, it is a basic config map that is also deploying in the default namespace. In this case, there is an additional file called the customization.yml file. I won't talk about the airbag.yml file yet because it's not used, as you can see from that file. That's the customized manifest. It says it references the API version for customize. It's a kind of customization. And it also references two files, 
the nginx.yaml file and the nginx-config.yaml file. To apply that file, so the whole configuration, you'll just have to run kipscuttle apply dash k for customize dot and it will create the resources that are referenced by this file. So in that case, the deployment, the nginx deployment and the nginx-config config map. And you can check that. You've just seen that we've started the part that is the nginx part. And if we have a look at it, you'll see that the image it relies on is a 1, 15, 12 and the namespace. is obviously the default namespace. Let's go back to the overlays configurations. Here we have one directory called prod. In this directory, there is only one file called customization.yml, which is the manifest for customize. If you look at that file, you'll see that it references the other set of resources, so the vanilla resources. By this directive, it also says that the namespace it should deploy into is the prod namespace. And it says that the image for the Nginx server should be 115.10. To apply this directory configuration, I just run capcurl apply dash k. And you see it fails because the namespace doesn't exist yet. So I will create the namespace. And run it again. And it just succeeds. If I look at it, Here, you see the image it is running is actually the 115.10. Customize offers more directive to change your configuration in addition to namespace and images. This slide lists most of them. In this demonstration, I'll be showing you how to change an attribute of a resource from another configuration. So in this case, we are in production and we want to change an attribute of the Nginx resource. Customize provides you with a tool called uh, a patch and it has three different keywords saying that you can replace or add or delete a pass for a resource with a value and so what you have to do is just create these files and add, list the change that you want on the on the target resource then you will have to change also the customized manifest so you change the manifest by adding a patches json 6902 keyword saying that the target that the patch has to be applied to. So in this case, we will apply the patch to the deployment called Nginx. Then you can simply apply the configuration again by a cup kettle apply dash k dot. Okay, and you see here nothing has changed. That's because the replica set that is running the pod under uh, the deployment is already set to one. So we will change it. Reapply the, the stack and you see 
in this case it has changed we can see here directly from cup kettle Here you see the replica set has been set to two and there is now two pods running. The last one just restarted a few seconds ago. Generator is another very useful tool. It allows you to create config map or secret from a file and it allows to change the name of the config map every time the content of it changes. So it enables to to easily recreate the pod in the event of a change in the parameters of a config map, for instance. In the last demonstration, I'll show you a very useful feature that comes with Customize, that is the management of the config map and the secrets as part of files. So if you look at the content of this directory, you'll see that uh, I've removed the nginx-config.yml file and changed it by a nginx.conf file. And so basically what you'll do is instead of creating a, a, a YAML file that contains the file itself, just put the file and in the customization.yaml file, you, you reference it like that. You use the config map generator directive with the name of the config map you want to get at the end and the files or the list of files you want to have for each one of the keys of the config map. So uh, very easy and, and way more simple than in a, in a regular um, YAML file. Uh, another uh, very useful thing that comes with that feature is the ability if you, if you apply the environment so the ability to change the name of the config map on the fly so that means that instead of being called nginx as it is here, it will be called nginx dash and a hash number that depends on the content of the file. The benefit of that is that if you, um, if you change the content of the file, it will automatically uh, change the reference to the config map in the deployment or in the pod and redeploy re the pod or, or the deployment or the stateful set or whatever you are using. So we'll, we'll be doing that. So let's say we change this, this value to 1 and we apply the stack again and you'll see it has just reconfigured Nginx and it has created a config map that has another name. We can make sure it's the case You see, it has just restarted the, the pod. And another very nice thing about that is that if you look at the config map, you'll get the history of the config map. So basically, it's a very good practice to, to not erase the config map, not replace it, but just to, to create a new one. And Customize does that automatically for you. And that's it for a quick introduction to Customize. To summarize, Customize is simple. It's simple because it doesn't require any templating language. It's just plain regular YAML file like you would do for any resource. It allows you to store multiple configuration in a single directory, so as a single repository. It's included with kubectl 1.14, so you don't have to, to install anything, just use the dash k uh, com command flag. It's fun to use, fun to try, uh, very powerful. So if you want to give it a try, just go ahead. If you want to know more, uh, there are the website that is uh, customize.io. And you can also uh, go to the GitHub repository that is kubernetes-sigs slash customize. Have fun.